Fans, we got the most random breaking news of all time as the Miami Heat have signed a guard to the active roster, and the name is Patty Mills. If you remember the name, we've talked about him in depth actually going back to the offseason when he was a free agent as someone the Heat could sign as a vet men backup guard if Damian Lillard ended up being a Miami Heat basketball player, but he ended up going with the Atlanta Hawks, didn't really play this year, was bought out, and then plans to join the Miami Heat. We'll have it all breaking down Patty Mills in a corresponding move as well from Miami and Pat Riley. But first, hit that sub button because we are going to cover breaking news surrounding the Miami Heat better than anyone else. We will also be live later tonight if you're watching on Tuesday for a Heat vs. Pistons watch party so tune in for that. But let's break down Patty Mills here because he's had a lot of experience inside the NBA, right? He's been in the league for quite some time. He's played over 850 games over a 10-year span. He started out with Portland, then went to San Antonio, and we battled with him quite a bit. He was on those Spurs teams that matched up against D. Wade, LeBron, and Chris Bosh in the NBA Finals as a big three. He's was with, with the Nets and their Kyrie Irving, KD um, trio, and then they obviously moved on from them, and now he was with the Atlanta Hawks only for 19 games this season. But what Patty Mills will bring is some veteran leadership in three-point shooting. Yes, he is 35. He can't really defend, but don't get it twisted. This guy can absolutely still shoot the pill. Limited playing time this year, but when he does play, he shot 38% from three. And if you actually remember that game that the Heat lost on Udonis Haslam jersey retirement day, when DeJounte Murray hit that game winner just a week before the also, or excuse me, the trade deadline, Patty Mills came off the bench and hit about three or four triples against Miami. So he auditioned for the Heat back then and obviously left an impression that the Heat wanted to sign Patty Mills. Now, I don't want to speculate, but this nature of the business here, could they be adding guard depth because Tyler Hero's injury is more serious than we initially thought? He obviously hyperextended that knee against the New Orleans Pelicans the first game after the All-Star break where the Heat won. He did that late in the fourth quarter, um, but he had a foot issue going into that game, and now the games that he has been missing recently, they haven't been labeled as a knee is the reason why Tyler hasn't been playing. They've been labeled as a foot, which he remember that cryptic tweet he sent out with the random emoji that like facepalm and it was just like what well, was he getting benched but it turns out it was that he injured his foot while training and that foot has obviously been lingering on and I don't know if we're going to get an update soon on Tyler that it's worse than we think but the Heat felt the need to add more guard depth in the form of Patty Mills like I said he can shoot the pill a career 30 8.9% three-point shooter, tons of experience. So if he absolutely needs to, he could come off the bench and knock down a spot three in the postseason or if the Heat just have a ton of injuries on a specific night. So that's kind of where I'm looking at the impact of Patty Mills for this Heat team. Don't expect anything crazy. It's pretty random if you ask me. I didn't expect them to add anyone to this roster, even though I've always thought they should because they had Drew Smith on it, even though he was labeled as out for the year. So you were just taking up a roster spot for Drew Smith for no reason. Reason. And that's kind of the corresponding move here, which we'll get to in just a bit. But grade the signing for me. Scale it 1 to 10. Grade the Patty Mills signing scale 1 to 10. Um, get down in the comment section and let me know. Uh, I don't know. I, I, like, Listen, I'm going to go mid. It's a 5. Like, It's cool that the Heat made a roster addition. It's always fun to talk about new players joining this Heat team. But it's not like he's going to get that much playing time and much of an impact. Listen, DeLon Wright who the Heat signed over the All-Star break off the buyout market really hasn't got a lot of run. He had that two-game stretch in Sacramento and uh, against Portland where he played pretty good, but ever since those two games and Jimmy Butler returned and from his suspension, DeLon Wright has not got a lot of playing time with Terry Rozier returning the lineup. So like when the Heat got fully healthy, DeLon Wright headed to the bench after his two solid games against Sacramento and Portland. So my question is, is like if they're signing Patty Mills, I don't really think there's a plan for him to play. It's more of an insurance move by Pat Riley just in case Tyler Hero is out for an extended period of time. Rozier gets hurt again, or maybe a DeLon Wright injury also occurs and they really need a guard off the bench. We'll talk more in depth about this move here 
and about this Heat roster and moving forward. But first, I gotta show some love to Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Check them out. Use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. They make playing daily fantasy so fun because they change things up on a single day basis where they have demons and goblins, which allows you to get even more money possible in return on a higher risk, but they also have the ability to go lower money, but a lower risk as well. They also allow you to combine different athletes. Like you could do Jimmy Butler more than, and like LeBron and James more than threes combined in separate games. Like it's really, really cool. And once baseball season comes around, they'll even have more fun things to do as well. So check out prize picks, go download their app today, use code CLNS and get that first deposit match up to hundred dollars. The link will be in the description and comments of today's video. Another thing that just popped up into my head here as I'm filming and it kind of feels like the more realistic reason why Patty Mills was signed to this Heat roster, and it's Josh Richardson. He obviously separated that shoulder against the Celtics just a week before the All-Star break, and we didn't know what the timetable would be for him. He was going to be reevaluated on a week-to-week -week basis, but we knew it was going to take about two or three weeks for him to even be having a chance to return to the Heat lineup. Well, it's been about that time, and there's still been no words on Jay Rich. So... I'm going to keep on referring to the word insurance, insurance, insurance. And that's because the Heat's roster and the guard position is so in flux with Tyler Hero's nagging foot injury, Josh Richardson's shoulder. And then obviously with Drew Smith being out for the season when he got hurt against Cleveland just before Thanksgiving with that ACL sprain and he was announced out for the year, well, the Heat were employing someone on this roster that one isn't an impact player even when he's healthy and two was taking up a roster spot so there's no reason why to keep the heat needed to keep drew smith on this team and that's the corresponding move i alluded to earlier in the video patty mills is taking drew smith's roster spot Hopefully, Drew will be able to land on his feet, but he will not be returning to this Heat roster at least this season. So, Patty Mills takes that spot, and uh, we're going to keep on going with a game against the Pistons tonight on uh, Tuesday afternoon. I'm just looking over here on Twitter just to make sure. Ira Winderman um, of the Sun Sentinel did tweet this out just a minute ago that says, can confirm Heat will sign Patty Mills and that he will replace Drew Smith on the roster, like I said, with Smith having undergone season-ending knee surgery. Source confirms this is protection amid concern of extended absence with Josh Richardson and his shoulder injury. So that makes sense. I kind of popped into my head here, but now we have a Heat beat reporter kind of saying the same thing. Patty Mills was signed because the Heat just needed more depth and more protection for their guard injuries that have already occurred on the roster. That's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you later live today for a game against the Pistons. I know it's Detroit, but listen, they've been playing better basketball as of late, if you can believe that. And the Heat need to continue to stack these wins to climb up those Eastern Conference standings. So tune in for a watch party tonight. I'll see you then. Go Heat. Peace out.